this is the second video about making a bubble chart I'm making them in different colors and putting the labels there now uh, just to review what we did was um, I think uh, let's take this one you want to set your data up so you have the X scale and you don't have anything on the X scale so let's pretend this is the value or something and then you select the area you remember that that was from the last one you press F11 you go to the uh, design change the chart type to an XY chart and you uh, make it a bubble chart and then you press OK and you right click and go to select data and switch the row and column and you have your bubble chart now the problem is we'd like to uh, uh, put the titles here and if we did that we can go to add the data labels and the problem is now um, Uh, just a minute I think I want to uh, what do I want to I want to add uh, yeah I think we we, we add, add labels but we're going to make these different labels now if we did this by hand I'm going to have to press shift control M let's do we're going to make a just make a macro and on your macro you look at a, da a data label and you put an equal sign and then you go to the data and I have no idea if this was the right uh, one and you right click and you again put another equal sign and go to the data and you'd have to you have to do this each time now I'm going to stop the macro and just look at it this was named macro number seven so what you do is you uh, uh, when you go to this uh, macro seven okay I have some other ones here okay and you see that it says uh, uh, active chart full collection data labels now there's something to worry about here okay uh, the thing to worry about is that the different uh, versions of Excel might be a little bit bit different. So what you can do, I mean, it might not say full series selection like this. So you might have to adjust this. But then after you have this, the best way to do this, I think, is, and I did this already, is to make a named range. This is called bubble labels. Okay, and then you go to the uh, thing and we can go for i equals one to range and then you put bubble labels dot count that's a big one to learn count i think that's a big one and then we we have this one and then we we don't need this anymore because we're gonna work through each point okay and you put next i all right now instead of a uh, collection points one we just put points i and then it'll go through the, this now the next thing you can do is down here where it says selection formula all you have to do is uh, uh, assign that to what's in the bubbl see I, I, uh, now bubble bubb I think I is that that that's what I hope I named it let's just make absolutely sure okay B U B B L E labels okay then the next thing you do is use the cells uh, function and you just say okay well let's define this and let's assign this to range bubble uh, uh, labels okay and dot cells and then we go down the rows the rows are i and the column is one 
we just have it. So you have to define a range name and then you can uh, uh, try it. So let's just uh, go to the developer tab perhaps and make a, a, uh, a little uh, okay thing. Now, uh, shoot, uh, this, okay, now, it's very possible it's not going to work. It's probable it's not going to work, okay, so I didn't like that. Well, I spelled labels uh, wrong, and so... That was pretty stupid. And then I just reran it and it did it. Okay, I think it did it. Why did we have, we had test one, S5, they're, they're all there. We can even then make it uh, larger. Now, the one that I gave you, so, so this is the uh, a big deal is that, uh, you just need to go around now when i made this one uh i made a uh, little did some fancier stuff i tried to uh, I, my french isn't very good there sorry about that i'm german but i just said okay you have to have a a a, a labeled range just to rhyme people and then i put a bunch of error checks in here and the big error check is that if uh, if you're not on the chart, it doesn't work. You could make it different and go to the chart, and then you just go cross. And I had this uh, thing showing us that we're making the label. That was kind of unnecessary. It was completely unnecessary. So we just go around, and, you know, I have a couple extra things here even. Okay, so that's that's the finish of the video. That's how to make the the labels